as you can see the installation of PHP is now complete but now we need to test it just like we tested Apache earlier so the first thing we need to do is to navigate to um, a different directory okay now we're in the HTML directory if you're unsure of this you can issue this command print working directory and it'll tell you where you are now what we're going to do here is create a PHP file so we can test it uh, from the web browser on our client machine using the VI text editor I'm going to create a file called phpinfo.php um, this part is not so important you can call that whatever you like but the PHP part needs to stay PHP so this file at the moment is empty so we need to input some code If you press I on your keyboard, this will allow you, will change the prompt at the bottom to insert and will allow you to type some code. So if you hit escape, notice that the prompt at the bottom is gone shift and colon w for save and quit to exit the vi editor now if we do an ls command we can verify that that file is actually in the html directory so by going to our desktop environment and once again <coughs> typing in the IP typing in the IP address of the server plus the PHP info.php file name you should see information about your PHP uh, package that you installed and this verifies that PHP is working correctly alongside Apache So now our LAMP server is configured. Uh, we have installed the CentOS operating system, Apache Web Server, MySQL, and PHP. So now we need to install our Web 2.0 application called Drupal. Before we do this, we need to install a wget package to allow us to download the Drupal package directly from a URL that we're going to specify. Uh, but first we need to do this okay I'm gonna repeat this action because I put the commands in the incorrect order okay this this should work So this is going to install the wget package. Once this is complete, we're going to direct the server to a URL where we can download the Drupal package. The wget package is now downloaded and installed completely on your system. So what you need to do is use the wget command, specify the URL where you want to download the Drupal package from. Uh, okay as you can see it's going to download the Drupal 6.16 package okay so the the Drupal package has been downloaded in a zip format 
in a compressed format and it's currently in the HTML folder. Now if we do ls we can verify that the PHP file that we created earlier is in there and the Drupal package. What I'm going to do is move the Drupal package into the www folder. So you can you can do so by using this command and you can verify by changing the directory uh, cd dot dot goes up one level and issuing the ls command so now you can see you're in the www directory and your drupal package is here alongside with the html uh, directory also before we go ahead and extract the files that are contained in our Drupal uh, zip folder, we need to remove the HTML directory from the www dot directory. We can do so by using this command and typing yes here. And it's going to ask you, do you want to delete the file that's contained inside the HTML directory? And we're going to go ahead, remove directory, yes. Okay, so if we do ls, you can now see that the HTML directory is now uh, deleted. To extract the files, we're going to use this command, the tar command. There we go. So if we do ls, we can see now the red package, the tar package is still compressed. And the ordinary Drupal directory, which contains all the files that we need. Okay, now we're going to rename this directory to HTML. Okay, as you can see, using this command, I renamed this folder, the Drupal folder, to HTML. And if we use the ls command, we can verify this 